Hi, and welcome back to a quick tips tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the freeze function. Before I do this, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And uh, so there, yeah, let's jump into this freeze function tutorial. Now freeze has been around for a while since, I don't know if it's before nine, but definitely nine freeze existed. And I never really used it. And uh, so I started looking into it to understand what it was all about because I just didn't really use it. I don't know why, but anyway, the main thing about it, which is really cool, is that it, it kind of bounces in place all your files temporarily, but doesn't put the audio file into this bin here. So basically these still look like MIDI and they still have all the plugins looking like they're turned on, but they're not, they're off. Now let's start off by activating the free. So you go to the configure track header and you tick on the freeze icon, then that will come up here. It looks like a, a little snowflake icon, just through from there to there, to the base as well. We can turn that on, okay? And when I hit the bay, it will analyze and bounce in place temporarily somewhere, but you can't see it. So hit play, then it starts freezing. So that's frozen now. So let's have a look at it without. So if I, Double click on the CPU here and then you can see what I've done here. I put all these plugins on loads of reverbs and stuff to give it a bit of a, a whack on the CPU there. So if we come back here and, and just let that play, you can see that using a bit of CPU. Now, if we turn on the freeze again, now look at the CPU, gone. So there you can see there's no CPU now, very little. So that's really good. So you don't have to bounce this in place. Um, and it looks like it's in MIDI, but it's not. So say I want to go to just one track like this and I want to change a note. Now, either I can just turn this off here, I can either turn that off there and then change the note, or if you just hit the note, it will give you the option to take it off as well. So you've got unfreeze, and that will unfreeze the track. And uh, then you can move your notes around as you want. And uh, so, pretty useful. So that's the way you freeze your tracks to gain CPU. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.